Hey guys, I'm Scott and welcome back to the Dynamics Post. This week we're going to take a look at another new warehouse management feature that allows us to use the wave demand replenishment but stock to the max stocking limit of the shelf. We'll take a look at that when we get right back. We've taken a look at wave demand replenishment before. I'll put a link to the video up right now. Um, but basically what wave demand replenishment allows us to do is whenever we release a sales order, if I've got an item on that sales order and the picking location is empty or doesn't have enough to fulfill the sales order, it'll create a replenishment uh, work for somebody to go pull the item from bulk and move it down to the picking location. So one of the major kind of drawbacks of that is that it only picked the quantity that was required for the sales order. So if you had five sales orders and each of them needed some quantity and the picking location was empty, as those sales orders were released, uh, additional replenishments would be created for each one of those sales orders. There was kind of a workaround that I put in that original blog post where you could set up a unit of measure and create a max unit of measure and it would pull basically that max unit of measure. It was kind of a, it was a workaround is what it was to get it to do what we're doing. But now there's a new uh, replenishment strategy on the de wave demand replenishment that we can use that's going to pull to the max stocking location. All right. So the first thing we're going to do, let's go. We'll review the setup for the wave demand replenishment, and I'll show you where that setting is uh, is set at for that max stocking level. Let's take a look at that first. All right. So let's review the setup for wave demand replenishment, and we'll add in a new feature as well. So first place I want to go look is the replenishment template. So we're going to be under warehouse management on all on these items here. So underneath warehouse management and then setup. And then if we go ahead and look at the replenishment template, so that's under replenishment, the replenishment templates. I've got one here set up for uh, wave demand replenishment. Okay. And the new feature comes in down here in the replenishment strategy. I'm going to leave this alone for right now. I'm going to show you the original functionality. Then I'm going to go ahead and show you the new functionality. But on the wave demand replenishment template, where you have the replenishment type of wave demand, um, there is this new replenishment strategy called maximum location uh, capacity. Like I said, for right now, I'm just going to review the rest of the setup on the wave demand replenishment just so we can review it, but uh, we'll be flipping that there in just a minute. Okay. So the next place I want to go is I want to go to the actual wave template. So again, under warehouse management and setup, then I'm going to go into the waves and then wave template. All right, so today I'm going to be using uh, Warehouse 24. So I've got this Wave template set up for 24. And this is just the shipping template. Um, so a couple of things that I added to my template. I originally had one set up here for sales orders and transfer orders. But what I did was add a replenish method. And then you have to specify a Wave step code. I didn't show you that on the replenishment template, but there's a Wave step code there on the replenishment template. Just need to make sure those match. The other important thing uh, that I always forget to do when I'm setting these up is make sure you have this automated replenishment at work release. Uh, make sure that's yes, otherwise the replenishment doesn't work. All right, so let's go ahead and take a look at the work template. So we're going to begin warehouse management setup, and then we're going to go to work and then work templates. And again, we're doing warehouse 24, so I'm going to use this one right here. And it's just a simple pick and put to bay door, so real simple for this one. And then the other work template we need to set up is under the work order type replenishment. We just need to make sure we have a replenishment here for our warehouse 24 uh, for a pick and a put here. So I'm just picking it up and putting it down in, in the location. And then the next thing we're going to take a look at is we're going to go into the location directives. And I already have, again, I'm just adding to my sales order. So I already have my sales orders location directive set up. But uh, one that I'm going to set up, make sure that's there, is the replenishment. So I want to make sure that I have wave demand replenishment for um, for warehouse 24 for both a pick and a put. Okay. So the one thing to watch out for on on um, location directives is make sure that uh, these are the first 24s it comes to warehouse 24s. These above are, are for 61, so it'll look through all of these, but it won't find a match because it's a different warehouse. Then come to here. So if you've got a bunch of mixtures and you can't make them all together. Go and use a directive code so it, it picks a group of your wave demand replenishment. But as long as you have your warehouse that you're looking group by warehouse and you only have two of them, for example, you should be fine. And so on, on both of these here, I'm just doing on the pick side, I'm just picking from a bulk location. On the put side, I'm, I'm pick, putting it to a fixed location. All right. 
So the other little bits of setup we need, I'm going to go over to the warehouse management setup and then we'll go underneath warehouse. And since I am using a fixed location, I'm going to go to the fixed locations. The item number I'm going to be using today is a 51515 in oil filter. Um, so I've set that up in warehouse 24. The fixed location for that is PICO1. And then when we use our max, uh, repl max uh, capacity, the other thing we need to set up is a location stocking limit. So I've gone in here in the warehouse uh, management setup warehouse and then location stocking limits and I set a stocking limit in location pick 01 for our item number 51515 15 of 5 okay made this real specific just for our example probably most of the time you're, you're setting this up by location location profile but um, again I'm just trying to use our specific example so I've set this up really specifically all right, so the example that we're going to use is we're going to create a sales order for a single item, a 51515 item. And I've got some in a bulk location. I don't have any in a picking location, right? So the first run through the example, I'm going to show you just the standard what we what we used to have. So it was just it's just going to move the quantity requirement on the sales order. Then we'll do another run through the example where we're going to use the uh, max stocking location or the max location limit there. So let's go ahead and take a look at the example now. Let's take a look at the on hand for the item we're going to be using today, which is a 51515. So I'm going to go under uh, product information management and then products and then release products. And then we'll pull up our 51515 item that we're going to use. And let's go to manage inventory and then on hand inventory. All right. So for this one, I've got 100 in this bulk. 011 location that's just a bulk location there All right so if you remember this item has a fixed location of pick 01 so what the replenishment is going to do is it's going to pull some from this bulk and put it down in the pick all right so let's go ahead and do that let's create a sales order and while i'm doing that i'll remind you that the, i've got this set up right now is with the original um, replenishment template so that when um, when the replenishment is created I should just get movement for the amount that I have on my sales order. So I'm going to create a sales order for US004. I'll go ahead and specify the warehouse I'm going to use, which is uh, 24. Go. And then we're going to go ahead and put in item number 51515. And I'm going to reserve that inventory. All right, so let's go ahead and release this to the warehouse. So we'll go ahead and we'll do a release. And it's gonna tell us that we have replenishment work, right? So let's go ahead and take a look at the work that was created and we're going to the work details. And so this is our, our picking work, right? So we, it's just telling us to take it from pick 01 and move it to bay door. This is the work that's blocked because there is replenishment associated with it. So you notice it's blocked. It wouldn't let us pick this at this point. So let's go into the related information. Let's look at take a look at the replenishment work. Right? So on the replenishment work side, it's just telling us is telling us to take one and from bulk and then move it down to pick. All right. So what we'll do, let's go ahead and reset all this and we'll change the option. So let me we'll cancel out of this work. We're gonna go ahead and cancel this work. And then if we come back to our original work, I, because I canceled the replenishment work, it's canceled this work. So I can close this out. And let's go to our and delete our shipment. And we're just going to delete that shipment so we can re-release it. Okay, so now we're back to an unreleased status. So what I want to do now, I'm going to, just so I can get back to it later, I want to copy that sales order so I have it. And what I'm going to do is go change my replenishment template. So I'm going to go into warehouse management. And then I'm going to go underneath setup. And then I'm going to go to replenishment and then replenishment templates. Now for my wave demand replenishment template, I want to make sure I have that highlighted and I'm going to click edit. And then in, I'm going to change this from wave demand quantity to maximum location capacity. All right, so we're going to go ahead and save that. And just as a reminder that that maximum location capacity is set up underneath uh, warehouse management setup. Then we go to warehouses, and then we have this location stocking limit. This is where it's going to get the max. We'll see the same thing. It can't be uh, unblocked. Well, there's basically re uh, replacement work out there. So let's go look, take a look at that now. So we go back to our work details. So in this work, so this is our original one up here that we canceled. Here's our new one. 
Uh, so in this work, as you notice, we, we still have one because that's all we really need for our order. We need to pick one. All right. But let's go take a look at our replenishment work. So we go back to the replenishment work. Take a look at that. Now it's telling us to move five there. All right, so you can see the setup for that is really simple. If you already have wave demand replenishment set up, you just flip the one flag. I will say that I had to enable that in feature management. So it's, it's, it is a brand new feature. So it, you'll have to enable it in feature management before you'll get the option. Um, so definitely try and enable it, play around with it. I think it's a lot better option than the old unit of measure uh, option that I showed in the previous blog post when, when we talked about wave demand replenishment before. So uh, real simple, I think it's a great feature to, to add. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please like it, give it a thumbs up. That helps the distribution on this video. And also if you like uh, Dynamics 365 process content like I film, I create one of these films at least once a week, sometimes twice a week and release it. So if you want to see when I release a new video, hit that subscribe button um, and you'll get notified from YouTube when I upload a new video. Okay. So until the next video, thanks for watching.